Day really is celebrating the 90th anniversary of Wembley as the name. We've got some freestylers uh, showing the new Nike football that's going to be uh, on show at this year's final. And secondly, of course, the FA Cup itself to advertise, I think, the iconic nature of, of Wembley. And then we've got some local residents who are going to get a free visit round Wembley as well. obviously our skill coach scheme here and, and then the Just Play one highlighting the 90th anniversary and an exciting month ahead for it. The ball and the cup is going to travel around London so hopefully you might get a chance to see it and uh, then we'll see whether Man City or we're going to hold it aloft in mid-May. come true. I played a few times here and the most famous one was the 1981 FA Cup final when Ricky scored a beautiful goal and we were champion with Manchester City. As a manager as well I was promoted here with the Swindon Town and I was promoted here with Web Rome in the playoffs so uh, I have to say that Wembley have always been a very very lucky stadium for me. The FA 150 years, it's a long long story, it must be the oldest in the world so uh, a very very happy birthday. Wembley Stadium. I went to school around there. Chelsea's equaliser against Leeds in the 70s. That was my era. Wembley Stadium. Magnanimous. Magnificent. Magic. '81 was uh, my great memory at Wembley, you know. It's very special, I say all the time, it's the house of football, you know. One part of the world, the football star is Wembley, you know. And I'm very pleased to be part of the, of the history of this lovely, lovely stadium. <music> 81, when we win the FA Cup, I have great memory because uh, I scored in the winning goal, you know, and everybody remembered that like uh, one of the best goals at Wembley and it's a great honor for me. Yeah.